you know, one day we all have to give up riding a motorcycle. Everybody can't ride motorcycles for a long period of time. I mean, and it doesn't matter what age you are. You know what I'm saying? It's not because you get old. Yes, that could be a reason and a, a, a reason why a lot of people get rid of their motorcycles because they get old. But even young people get rid of their motorcycles for whatever reasons, health reasons or whatever. Or maybe that some of them just get tired of motorcycles or they don't feel like, you know, they, they want to feel safer in their car, in their cage or something, you know. But I'll tell you guys, I got to thinking about it. I was like, you know what? When I quit motorcycles, this is what I'm going to do that's nearly as fun. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today if you ride a motorcycle make sure you wear the gear and if you want to get my gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an auto tent shield my motor vlog camera airbag vest links to all of my gears in the description and comment section of this video it's hard to imagine a life without <laughs> it's hard to imagine guys seriously I often think about it sometimes. Yeah, I'm just like, man, I love riding so, so much. But, you know, we, we may not, you never know how long you can ride for. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so I got to think, what, what do I do? What do I do? I, I don't play video games. I get bored with video games. I need somebody, I, I don't like when we sit up in the house, man, like a lot of you guys that sit up there in the house, play video games all day, that's boring, man. Get a gut, sitting up there eating, eating junk food, playing video games and stuff. Oh, God, had a that shit up, oh, <laughs> Yeah, baby. I'm telling you, man, is uh, I see that, that I can't imagine life without that. So that's just good times, baby. Good times, good times. And uh, so, but you know what? What did I do before motorcycles? You know, and I'll tell you, when I lived in Colorado. I 4 by 4 it in the mountains in a Pathfinder. And I tell you, that was awesome. I loved it, man. Absolutely loved it. And I could so see myself getting like a Jeep Wrangler or something. Maybe in this, even this new Ford Bronco that's coming out is supposed to be pretty sick. And making it off-road, you know, putting all the off-road goodies on it. And uh, having fun, man. Off-road, what do you guys think, man? Are you getting... Now, I know some of you motor vloggers I've seen with Jeep Wranglers and you're into the whole off-road deal. Um, I want to get it. I want to get into that again myself, man. That's why I always thought that I would, uh, I always thought, you know, that's why I was thinking about getting a side-by-side. -side. And, uh, but a side-by-side -side is you can buy a G, almost buy a Jeep Wrangler for what it costs for a side-by-side. -side. It's so expensive, man. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear what you guys think. If you have, I know a lot of you guys are young and you never probably even did 4x4 in, in a Jeep and stuff like that. But th for those of you that have, tell me about it. How do you like it? Do you love it or what? Is that something I should pursue again? I wasn't really deeply into it where I was, yeah, you know, I just had like a base pad, a four x four Pathfinder and roughed it up, up in the Rocky Mountains on Rampart Range Road and roads off of Rampart Range Road. It's up in the Rockies. And I loved it, man. So I can only imagine taking some real serious four x four trails and uh, with, with a bunch of people, like a caravan of other um, Jeepsters. Yeah, baby. <laughs> but I got to have some of that breath, breath, breath of my life, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Good times out here. Yeah, 
up, baby. Some good old times out here. <laughs> Get that brap, brap, brap. Yeah. Get that brap, 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 baby. But I want to hear what you guys have to say. And uh, should I go with the side-by-side? -side, or should I go with the Jeep Wrangler and hook it up? Or a the Ford Bronco is going to be super expensive. They're not even out yet. I don't know. They got... The, the Jeep Wrangler is proven, um, even though they're not the most reliable. Honestly, I should probably get a Toyota FJ Cruiser if you can find one. They're super expensive, though. Those are Coke Classics now. They don't make them anymore, which sucks because they're, they're a lot more reliable, you know, Toyota. So, but I could see myself getting a Jeep Wrangler and, and, and using it only for, like, off-road, messing around and crap. Um, hook it up with some off-road gear on it and uh having a good time man joining a uh, a 4x4 club kicking it back to colorado up in the rockies kick it to some 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 trails out in the uh some other places maybe up in you know in the uh the smoky mountains or whatever or wherever and uh i want I, I would love i need to add some new flavor to my life man you know what i'm saying and uh, like i said you never know how long you can ride man um, this is a blessing. This, you know, this is really a privilege and a blessing to be able to ride. I don't know. For those of you that ride, really appreciate it, guys, because there's a lot of people out there that don't have the proper health to ride a motorcycle. Some of them, one of their, you know, their eyes may be messed up or they, uh, they got health issues, balance issues or something that doesn't let them ride a motorcycle. Maybe they're missing a hand, arm, or, or, or something, a leg or something. They can't ride. I mean, you'd be... There's people out there, I have many viewers that say Cycle Cruiser, they're like living through me, my riding. Because they can't ride a motorcycle. So you guys should really appreciate it. And for those of you that are fully healthy and can ride, uh, you should get your motorcycle. Have a good time out here. Like Cycle Cruiser's having out here. Have a good old time out here just cruising you don't even have to be a hooligan like cycle cruise you can just come out here and cruise baby having a good old time out here but you know what this is a blessing and a privilege like i said and uh, i'm ready to add some new flavor i need a new flavor in my life and i don't think another i've had all the different types of motorcycles so i know some of you guys are like cycle cruising dude you got to get another motor dude I've had all the different types of motorcycles and I love this this is my most favorite here I'm not really I, I'll get another bike because I have to because this can't be a main motorcycle because it requires so much maintenance but I need to add something totally different totally different I put it on my bug out moto channel you know if I get into four wheeling and uh, so if you haven't seen my bug out channel, my bug out moto van channel, go check it out, subscribe to it. I haven't posted in a while. I need to post, but I'm getting ready to take a new bug out van trip here coming up. I'm getting my van ready. So stay tuned for that. And um, I'm going to check out some properties. And I already got an offer I'm putting together on a, a property that's 20 acres. It's got custom ATV trails and stuff on it. Uh, so up in the North Carolina mountains. So I don't know, man, we'll see. I've had some bad luck with, with uh, trying to get offers through and I'm a cash buyer, it's crazy, man. You think a cash buyer would have be at the top, be able to get anything they want. And it hasn't been the case because there's so many other cash buyers out there. It's crazy, man. It's the wild west out here with this real estate market. It, it makes zero sense. Um, well, it's, it's like, well, it, it makes sense because it's low supply and high demand equals high prices. I get it. But uh, whatever, man. But anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my All of One Motorcycle channel. Man. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.